Abbiamo proposto a Lucille Tenazas di utilizzare come tema per il progetto del workshop un tema di riflessione molto interessante che è quello del ruolo che il design può avere nei casi di emergenza. In particolare noi abbiamo applicato questo, questo concept al, al caso del terremoto per l'Aquila ehm, legando il nostro workshop ad un'attività più ampia che è stata organizzata insieme all'AIAP che è l'associazione dei grafici italiani ehm, all'interno della quale si stanno muovendo molti molti progetti intorno a questo tema. Eh, la domanda che vorrei fare a Lucille è in che modo lei pensa di aver interpretato questo tema del workshop e come e se ha potuto allargare questo tema eh, ad un ambito più ampio, non ridotto semplicemente al tema dell'Aquila. Um, when, when I was uh, approached by Alessandra e Daniela to, uh, to come to Seconda Università degli Studi di Napoli as a visiting Uh, professor to give a workshop, I was very interested and very excited about it, but, but we started to talk about some possible ideas about themes and concepts that we could be um, uh, working with the students on. And the topic that was of interest to them was on um, the topic of the earthquake in L'Aquila that happened over a year ago in April. And um, I was a little skeptical at the beginning because I thought, you know, this is very specific to the Italians and to the... Obviously, you know, the event itself happened in Italy. Um, and also the, ch the students were not from L'Aquila or near L'Aquila. So there was a bit of a, sep a distance between the experiences of what I have, exp I, I have as somebody who lives in the United States as well as the students who do not live near L'Aquila. But I think that there is a way for a, a, a disaster or some sort of... A, situation that happens in the world where we become very where we are engaged and concerned because it is about humanity and that there is some empathetical response that we have as people in the world people who live um, in places that are also maybe vulnerable to some human some catastrophe um, I used to live in San Francisco so I know that it, we are San Francisco is on a, a fault line we've had some major earthquakes in the Bay Area. As well, in different parts of the United States, there, there's some natural disasters that happen. So I think there is a common experience that we all share, and this is about loss, loss of property, loss of loved ones, death, uh, separation, etc. that I think have, have a universal um, impact. And so as, as the more I thought about it, I thought this would be an interesting starting point that I can build on this, this one event that was very specific to Italy and very specific to the northeastern part of Italy that can reverberate and have impact uh, to us as designers to, um, to come up with some design thinking. What, does, what can designers do in the face of loss? And so I was thinking, designers are used to making objects, we're used to making artifacts that are concrete and that are, that something, that are some things that we can touch. But at the same time, I've been thinking also about how designers can be engaged in situations where it's, it's much more of a, of a transaction, it's much more of an intervention or an, inter, an interface that could involve a human-to-human -human interface. And, and so I was very clear with the students at the beginning that Designers can think in two ways: that they can think of object, they can think of what, uh, of something that they can produce. But at the same time, because we're not we're not doctors, we're not social workers, how can we as designers influence the kind of um, situation that has just happened? And so, for me, it was really about loss of memory, loss of connection, uh, especially now that. In L'Aquila, it's still pretty much a war zone, well, I guess that's metaphorical, that some of these people who live in the centro are not allowed to, get, to go in because it's not, the reconstruction process has been very slow. Um, and so there are ways that um, have come up, which I thought was very much about uh, a sort of very poetic example of how these people have put their keys, la chiave in la barricada, Uh, that they have put the keys as a, as, a, uh, as a form of protest, I think, because they feel helpless. They cannot go into these former homes that they have had so much history in. Um, 
but they are at a distance, and the only way that they can make that connection is to sort of affix these keys as a, symbo as a symbolic act. Um, and I think that they're not, these people are not designers, but that is a design act by using some other uh, a metaphorical approach. And so we take our example and, our, and using that as an influence and as inspiration, I think, for us as designers to go into these spaces mentally, um, conceptually, how can we then, how can design interact with these people and this situation? So the title of my presentation was Beyond Loss, Al di la a la perdita, de la perdita. Eh, um, yeah, il disegno prevale. Correct. Uh, and so today is our last uh, final critique. I will be very interested to see, and you will see hopefully, some examples of how the students in their own way address this issue. 